Welcome, and follow me as a Nothing Phone One, and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this brand new device. So to get started, once you first boot up the device, you can get to select your desired language from the list right here. And once you have done so, I'm not going to be changing it because it's already in a correct one, you can then press on that red arrow. This will then uh, take you to the next page where you can just pop in your SIM card uh, by taking on the tray and obviously putting in the card. The only reason this shows up here is because that's one of the ways you can connect to network, either through SIM card and mobile network or through Wi-Fi. And the reason those two show up at all is because throughout the setup process, if you connect to any kind of network, you will have the option to log into your Google account, assuming you want to. Now we can skip those two options and the only difference is you won't have the Google login page show up and additionally date and time usually isn't set correctly uh, and automatically as you can see right over here so you can fix it up if you're planning to not connect to network. Now moving on to the next page we have the Google services so we have three different ones we have things like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can read exactly what each one of them does and if you don't like them you can just disable them like so from there scroll down select accept and this will take you to the next page which will then allow you to set up a screen lock now in just from the straight on it opts into a four digit pin but you can change it to have something like a pattern or password if you prefer one of the other ones or if you don't want to protect your phone you can just skip it and let's give you that message that it's not very advised to skip it but you only live once. Then we have some terms and conditions. So we have end user license agreement and privacy policy. You can tap on both of them to read exactly what these are or the conditions of these that you will be agreeing to. But at the end of the day, you do need to select agree to move to the next page, which is the experience improvement programs, which both of them by default are enabled. So if you don't want them, you can turn them off. And it looks like this finishes up the setup, almost. So we have introducing uh, glyphs, which is uh, this. Select a button. Nope. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to the next page disregarding this. Okay, so here we have system navigation. Uh, this will allow you to choose from two options, either the three button navigation, which is uh, all the three buttons at the bottom that you probably might be used to. And we have the gesture navigation as a default one that is selected by, by default, uh, which is the more modern one where you just kind of swipe from sides, uh, swipe up and hold or stuff like that. So choose whichever one you want. And from there, either press on the home button or swipe up, depending on which one you chose. And as you can see, this finishes up the setup. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.